wondered if it's possible to simply export a list of all your YouTube videos. Well, it's not simple, but you can certainly do it fairly quickly. Let me show you how. Now, if you're like me, you might think it would be reasonable to find such a function in YouTube Studio. You might come over here to Dashboard and then Content and find the area where you can make bulk changes to all of your channel content and all your videos. That this would be a logical place to select them all and then simply export the names of the videos or their descriptions. However, you can't do that from here. Instead, you have to use something called Google Takeout. Google Takeout will allow you to export data out of Google, including your YouTube videos. Now, I'm going to show you here how to do this. You're going to need to log in at takeout.google.com with your Google username and password that you're using for your YouTube channel. And then when you want, what you want to do is create a new export. When you create a new export, um, you can select all the type of data that you'd like to move out of Google. I would su suggest deselecting all, going all the way down to YouTube and YouTube Music. Select that, and you can change a little bit about what gets exported here, but I really wouldn't worry about that. Go to Next Step. Say when you want to export it. You want to export it once, or you want to do uh, every two months for a year. How do you want to do that? You can also limit the file size. So this will not only export your list of videos, it'll actually export your videos as well. So that could be fairly large. And so it's going to chunk these up into 2 gigabit, 4 gigabit, or 10 gigabit zip files. Well, I would suggest you leave this low because what's going to happen is in that first file that you download, you're going to have all the metadata, all the lists about your videos. You're also going to have your playlists and all that kind of good stuff in there as well, along with some video content. All the rest of the files are just going to be packed with all the video files that are representing the videos on your YouTube channel. So this is um, where I would start. I would go ahead and create this export. Once you create that export, you're going to receive a couple. First, you're going to receive an email that says that the archive of Google data has been requested for this particular account. You may get this message sent to several of your email accounts that you've associated with this Gmail account. So in my case, I had one or two other ones that were also associated, and I got this message there as well. You need to be patient, though, because Google is going to queue this up, and it's going to take a little bit for it to generate these files. Then you will get another message that says they have finished with the export. So here you can see that there's 39 different files I can export. But I just want that list of all my videos, so I'm going to only download export number one. It's going to start that download as a zip file. I'm going to let it proceed, and I'll just put it here in my temp folder. It'll take just a little bit to download. Okay, now that the file has downloaded, I can unzip it in its directory. I've done this a couple times to make sure I gave you the right directions, so this will be saved as takeout three. But in this directory, you will then see all these videos, and you're also going to see a file called video metadata. So video metadata.csv. You can double click on that or you can right click on it and open in whatever program you want. If you're on a Mac, on a PC, something similar. Uh, you can open this with a Excel spreadsheet. In my case, it's probably going to open this automatically in a program called Numbers on the Mac. But you'll see here that I now have a list of Google's video ID for it, the channel that it came from. This might be useful if you wanted to create your own URL shortener so that you could upload that to something like uh, shorten.io 
where you could uh, have these shortened. You would know what the last part of that URL is. Here I have the title, and then I have uh, other information, such as the status, the visibility, all that kind of good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the things I don't want. So in this case, I don't want to have all this other stuff here. So I'm going to delete everything except for the columns that I want. And there I have my file with my list of all my videos. So I hope this helps. And it's relatively quick, relatively painless way for you to be able to download an entire list of all of your YouTube videos.